The second big useful service is the OTX. So OTX is the, uh, the open threat exchange exchange uh, and that is from uh, alien vault so alien vault um, has the system OTX um, where people can contribute uh, what they call pulses um, and those are you know essentially for specialized threat feeds so you might have a pulse for a specific botnet or something like that uh, you can as part of OTX, uh, you know, you can create an account, it's free. You can register for those pulse, uh, pulses. In Lima Charlie, um, if you want to use the OTX service, um, the, the, the prereq is that you will go in the integrations section um, and you will want to add your API key there. So the API key is going to be provided by, uh, by OTX. You go in integrations, add your key there subscribe to the OTX service. And uh, what's going to happen is that automatically um, the OTX service will go using the API, find all of the pulses that you're you have registered to and uh, import those in Lima Charlie. And it also has uh, DNR rules, so detection response rules um, that are generic for the various types of pulses. So if a pulse is like hashes, or um, you know domain names, it will create the relevant rule to look for you know to match those those feeds with the data coming from your endpoints in Lima Charlie. So for example, um, if you have a feed that are hashes, um, it will look for those in the code identity event, um, which contain you know a bunch of different forms of uh, of the hashes. There is a maximum number of pulse. Um, again, kind of remember that in uh, in Lima Charlie. Um, everything that we do is uh, is done wire speed, meaning um, when you have a DNR rule, it must be able to run in real time. You know, it's not something that we can go and say, okay, look at the past year of data and um, you know uh, start parsing that kind of in real time. That's just not possible. Um, so uh, we have services that allow you to do that, like the replay service, if you want to do that specifically. Uh, replay old historical telemetry. But in this case, we limit it to about 200 pulses where we grab all of the indicators of compromise in there, convert them to feeds, add DNR rules, and apply them automatically to your organization. So those are very uh, hands-off ways to kind of, you know, get started with a bunch of different rules, uh, a, bunch of, a bunch of different threat feeds, um, and uh, yeah, just get up and going.